What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, and it's time to go through the road to the title for Roger Federer, the Wimbledon title for 2021. How far can Federer go? He's actually got a pretty good draw for 2021, except for the last, maybe the second week's a little bit tougher, as it should be. But let's go to the first round matchup for Federer. So in his first round, he's playing against Manorino, who he has a really, really one-sided head-to-head against. Six wins, and he's never lost to Manorino, and actually has a 2-0 record at Wimbledon. Federer will love his chances in that first round. His second round opponent could be against Richard Gasquet, who he's played 20 times before. And he leads the head-to-head 18 and 2, including 3-0 on grass. So again, Federer would like his chances against Gasquet, who he's beaten many, many times before. In the third round, he could potentially be playing against the 29 seed Nori. Now, he's never actually played Nori before, so that'll be a first-time meeting. Based on Nori's form in 2021 on the grass, that'll be a dangerous match for Federer, so he's going to have to bring his best. If he makes it into the fourth round, he's going to be playing against possibly two opponents, and he has a winning record over both. The first one being Lorenzo Sonigo, the number 23 seed, who's actually having a really good week this week on the grass. So even though Federer has a 1-0 record over Sonigo, Sonigo is in form. So that could be a tough matchup for Fed. And the other one being another player who's played really well on the grass in 2021, Corino Busta, the number 11 seed. Now Federer again has a 1-0 record over Corino Busta, but based on grass court form in 2021, maybe Busta will like his chances against Fed in that fourth round. If Federer is to make it to the quarterfinals, there are two big, big names and two big opponents waiting for him in that one. The first one being the number two seed, Daniel Medvedev. Now, Federer does have a 3-0 head-to-head over Medvedev, but they haven't played since Medvedev's rocketed into the top 10. So if he does play him in the quarterfinals, Medvedev's a different guy to the three matches he played against Federer in the past. So that'll be a very fun matchup. And the other one being Marin Cilic, the 32nd seed, who he actually played at the French Open a couple of weeks ago and went four sets. So that could be a tough matchup for Federer in the quarterfinals. Now, he does have a 10-1 head-to-head record over Chilich, including 2-0 at Wimbledon, but one of those matches was an absolute epic, so that's going to be a tough matchup for Federer if he does play Chilich in that quarterfinal. If Federer makes it to the semifinal, there are two big names and two big guys waiting for him in the semifinals. The first one, the number four seed, Alexander Zverev. Now, Federer has a losing record against Zverev, three wins, four losses. So that could be a very tough match for Federer if he does play Sasha. And the head to head on grass is actually tied at one apiece. So that's going to be very tough for Federer if he does play Zverev, especially as Zverev makes it to the semifinals. He will be feeling good and in form. The other one being Berrettini, the number seven seed. Now they did play at Wimbledon a couple of years ago with Federer getting the straight sets win. And overall, Federer has a 2-0 record against Berrettini. But like I said with Zverev, if Berrettini makes it to the semifinals, he'll be feeling good. He also won the Queen's Club Championship on grass a couple of weeks ago, Berrettini. So if he does play Federer, it'll be a much closer matchup than their two previous matches in that semifinal. If Federer was to make it all the way to the final, there are two big names watching out for him. The first one being the world number one, Novak Djokovic. We all know about the final they played two years ago. He had championship points. Djokovic ended up getting the win. They've actually played 50 times before with Federer down on the head-to-head, 23-27. And at Wimbledon, Djokovic also leads their head-to-head. Federer only getting one win out of the four times they've met at Wimbledon. Wimbledon, so he does not want to play Djokovic at Wimbledon this year if he can afford it. The other player he could meet in the final is the final City Pass. Now, he does have a 2 2 record against City Pass, and they've never played on grass. So, on grass, I would expect that. Federer would have a easier time against Sidney Pass maybe than on a hard court or a clay court. So really interested to see if that does happen in the final. Federer should be able to get through Sidney Pass based on his Wimbledon experience. So there it is. The road to the title for Roger Federer. Can he get to 21 titles in 2021? Or is it going to be Novak Djokovic? Because like I said, he's probably going to play Djokovic in the final again. They've played so many finals at Wimbledon. It's going to be crazy to see if that actually happens. Let me know down in the comments below how far can Federer go? He's got a pretty easy first week, but the second week is going to be really, really tough with some big hitters, big servers, and of course Nole potentially in the final. Federer going for history again at Wimbledon 2021. Can he win his 21st Grand Slam title?